Yo, yo, what's good, everybody? Um, welcome to Happy Hour 50, 53. We've done 53 of these. We've crossed the half century mark on Happy Hours. We damn near about to hit two centuries on Hoops and Brews this season. By, next, by the end of the season, we should be at 200 episodes. Crazy. We got to do something crazy about 200 episodes. The 200 yeah. episode, we used to do a live we, podcast. We got to do that shit in the strip club. So, <laughs> so we got to do something crazy about 200 episodes. Something. And invite everybody. Look, see, they promoted WNBA way more back then, bro. Huh? They they promoted WNBA way more back then. Yeah, because they was getting it off the ground. They was probably way, like, man, we finna make a then. lot of money off of this. And then the fans is like, nope. But happy hour. We should be live on the internet. Shout out to everybody watching us on the internet. Shout out to everybody listening to us on the internet right now. Um, did you see Steph Curry's comments on Kevin Durant? I mean, yeah, he didn't really say anything, bro. Yeah, he yes he did. He right. said you can go want to play ISO ball if you want, but we want championships, first of all, Kevin. First of all, we want championships, first of all, Kevin. First of all, Steph, Kevin. First of all, they don't run them two, as in Clay and Steph, don't run a majority of isolation because they can't. No, he said he said we would all love to run ISO. Ooh, Clay can't ISO G, huh? Clay can't run ISO G. If that was all he did all the time, he no, might be able he to. wouldn't be able you to. You don't know that. He, he, can't, he ain't got the handles to do that. You don't know that. Steph can, but when you can put a bigger person on him, it's not going to work the same. You don't know that. Also, I would like him to stop lying like they didn't run isolation. Who? Steph. I would he like never, him to stop lying. He never like said he that they didn't run isolation. run isolation. They ran tons of isolation for Katie. He never tons said. Of he it. never said they did. No, you need to tell Kevin Durant to stop lying. What? He the one been lying. How? What you mean how? Nah, he said it don't work when you get closest. It don't. I want to hear that, man. It don't. You need to tell KD to stop lying. It don't. Like I said, tell KD to stop lying and acting like he could never get his ISOs in. That was time. The main man. reasons why Warriors fans hated Kevin Durant was because they ISOed the man. No, but they. And they took away shots and stuff. They had to because, like, they were, like, teams, like, this is what the fourth year of the offense teams knew what you were doing. <laughs> they were going to crowd a three point line. So it was like, shit, here, KD, take the ball, do something with it, figure it out. Like the Clippers series, they just got the ball out of stuff hands. KD act like he was mad when that's what you wanted. You wanted you wanted to dribble the ball and tell everybody to move out of the way. That's how you drop the fifty ball in front of my ass, fam. Get out of here. That, I just think that he was fed up with the whole nah, situation. I, I think I think KD was what we knew him to be, and like and I, we got an episode. Believe it's a happy hour named KD is a beta. KD is a beta, and that's what that boiled down. To. What, see, what he's a beta. Cause he's a beta. There's nothing wrong with being a beta. You don't have to be alpha. You could be a beta. He's a beta. Going so crazy. Cause he's a beta, and there's nothing wrong with that. The man that know the man know he a beta. There's nothing wrong with being a beta. KD just KD, bro. And he's a beta. KD just KD. KD's KD, and 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 that means he's a beta. I think the Nets are gonna play great basketball. I'm gonna love watching that team. You better hope that man come back. All right. He'll be fine. Better hope that man come back. He's gonna average at least 23 when he come back. No, he not. What he gonna average? You nineteen. His first year he back, he not average twenty. Yes, he will. No, he not. Yes, he will. His first year back, KD probably gonna average like uh like eighteen. No, he not. Dude. For KD real, is not average no eighteen. Bro, he gonna have to come back and get readjusted to that Achilles. Not average eighteen. For real, KD he's gonna average eighteen. He gonna average twenty one, but he ain't average no eighteen. No. Nah. KD not coming back and average. 18. KD gonna come back and be the sidekick to a historically known sidekick. No, nah, but I actually Goofy. think. No, nah, but I actually think. No, nah, but I think. Kyrie is again. I, I I I think Kyrie is Kobe. Kyrie ain't Kobe. I think Kyrie. Kyrie is Kobe. and Kobe are nothing alike. Yes, it's they disrespectful are. to Kobe yes, for you are. to say that. Mad first, disrespectful. First to of all, Kobe challenged Kyrie to win MVP, so Kyrie about to go win MVP. Kyrie's not gonna win it. Yes, he is. Kobe you can't win MVP it. with your team winning forty four games. They're not gonna come on, dude. You can't Stop win MVP this. with your team winning forty four games. Stop man. this, bro. Stop this. Can't win MVP with your team winning forty four games. You man. don't believe they're gonna win. 44 I really, I actually do believe they're gonna win you about forty four games. I'm dead that. ass. I, you don't no troll that. aside, they're gonna win forty four games. You, you don't believe. How that. many did they win last year with the Celtics? Fifty. What the Celtics win? Oh uh, yeah, forty nine. Yeah, exactly. He's not winning them. We not. He, he, he went to a worse team. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he did. He went to a way worse team. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he did. The Celtics had a better team. They just no, had they a bunch didn't. of pieces that didn't necessarily fit. So then together. they didn't have a better team. They did have a better team. You, you literally just said they, they had, had a bunch a of pieces team. that didn't fit together. So how I don't is that know the if, team? I don't know if I don't know if the Nets got a bunch of pieces that fit together until yes, KD come back. 
Yes, they do. No. Yes, you got do. Crooked as your power forward. He's not a starting he's power forward in today's forward. NBA. Toy and Prince is. Toy and Prince ain't a starting power forward yes, in today's is. NBA. No, he's yes, not. He Joe yes, Harris he is. is barely a he starting shooting guard. He started last year. Joe Harris. I don't even know if Joe Harris gonna and, start. Yeah, Toy and Prince. Like, what with Atlanta? The, yeah, the Hawks. He not starting on no other team that's contending. He's fine. G. G come There's on, man. There's nothing wrong with Toy and Prince. Come Toy and Prince on, is a quality uh, small forward. He's quality. He's quality, not a starter. He's a quality starting he's small forward. He's not a starter in, 20, yes, he in 2020 yes, NBA. He no, he ain't. They had Rondé Hollis Jefferson starting last season. I'm shit. At least he can play defense. Tory and Prince can play defense. That's what he do. Tory and def- uh, watch. You're going to be getting his ass cooked all year. That's what he do. Who they primary guard on the team? Who do, Who they primary defender? Tory And you got DJ and you got Jared Allen. 44 Atlanta. games. 44 games. 50. 44 50, games. 50. Remember, I oh, told you 44 on the wing. games. Levert, Levert on the wing, too. I'm not worried about Levert. Levert? I'm not worried about Levert. He's going to have to go out there and give me 20 a night, or at least 18 a night, which means I'm not worried about that man uh, playing defense. Which he will give you 18 points. Before his fucking know. foot was sideways, he was giving you 18 points. He actually probably going to average 22 next year. He's not going to average 22. Watch. So you wild as hell. Watch. You got a lot of faith in some guys that ain't never produced before. He, dude, Levert has produced. You saw no, him in the playoffs. Not. He was the best player on the team in the playoffs. No. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. You're lying. Elo was out there getting doubled and having to be guarded. Exactly why he wasn't the best 11. player on the court. Exactly. So what's gonna happen in the playoffs when they do what they did to Kyrie last year? Levert uh, yeah, and double that man every time Levert he get hoop. frustrated. Levert gonna hoop. Like I said. And Joe Harris gonna hit open shots. So you so you depend on Karen's Levert to save you. You're gonna be very upset, my Watch. friend. Levert's gonna you be was all the same one last year telling me Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown was gonna save Kyrie. And we saw what happened. Levert it is, didn't happen. Levert is debatable. Levert possibly better you're than both of them. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. I'm not lying. I'm really not lying. He's not lying. He might be better than Jalen Brown. He might be better than Tatum. He might be better than Tatum. You're lying. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Okay. I'm glad you ride for your man. You ride for Kyrie and Harden. Uh, you only uh like I do Steph. You only ride for LeBron no more. That's how sad it is. You know LeBron watched when you stop riding. Nah, it's just the like. Yeah. Exactly. Wash. Nah, it's You're not that. It. Nah, it's You're not that. It. It's you just know, like, you know the chances is gone. Nah, it's not that. It's just like there's just new people. Mm-hmm. And like that, like that, like I want to win. Like if like if Braun win again, it's cool. It's dope. I'm gonna be happy. Like it's great. But mm-hmm. like it's new people I want to win. Like if the Lakers and the Rockets match up, I'm be rooting for the Rockets. I'm sorry. Then you're not a real LeBron fan. It's man. new people. You're not a real LeBron fan. It's man. new people. None of the guys on the on the on the Rockets have new people. Harden is new, he ain't got one. You're not a LeBron. I want Harden to get one. You're not a LeBron fan. I want Harden to get you're, one. You're a fake fan, bro. I want Harden to get one, bro. You're a fake bro. LeBron fan. You're a fake LeBron fan. LeBron, you see, he spent all these past three years calling me a hater, and he ain't going to even root for you when it come down to it. That ain't it's a real Harden, fan. G. That ain't a real it's fan. Harden, G. Harden ain't, ain't got one, fan. bro. I need Harden to get one, G. I need the, 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 the internet needs me. I'm so glad. James Harden has a champion. I'm so glad all of the fake LeBron fans are getting exposed now that LeBron is a Los Angeles Laker. We seeing how much y'all really ain't LeBron fans. Why? Because I'm yeah. hard to get a ring? No, 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 no. We see how much y'all really ain't LeBron fans. Why? Because I'm hard to get a huh? ring? Nah, y'all, nah. You just anti the Spurs. Huh? The Spurs was the team when LeBron was first coming up. That was the guys. If you anti the Spurs and you see LeBron, you're like, LeBron can beat the Spurs. Psych. Uh, you're not a real LeBron fan, man. That's unfortunate. I guess. You're not a real LeBron fan. It's At least I'm people, consistent. Bro. You know what I mean? I ain't never switching sides on my guy stuff. I switch sides. It's just new people, bro. Like, LeBron got three of them, G. I want Harden to get one of them. Harden's not them. gonna get one of them. I want. I. I he's I want not Harden gonna get to one. Go to a finals. He's not. He. He's never gonna make a finals. He's gonna make a finals. He's never gonna make a finals. Watch. Harden's gonna be remembered with Charles Barkley and Patrick Ewing and all Chuck of them. Made, guys. They all made finals. He made one too. One. Okay. It won. As the man, bro. It don't matter. As the man. It don't matter. He's not going to make one as the man. He's as not going to make one as the man. And he's going to be going up against teams with two, three, four guys, and, and there's two guys on that team. And one of them can't shoot threes, three and one guys. of them can't shoot free throws. Who's the third guy? Easy. Or Capella? All right, fam. All right, PJ fam. Tucker? All right, fam. All right, fam. Capella and PJ Tucker, they they couldn't save you before, but they're going to save you now. Capella's still getting Capella, better? Capella learning Euro steps and shooting three-pointers. It's going to help James Harden. Sure. I remember that come um, I remember that come April when they get eliminated because that's what's going to happen. Man's in April. They, man's is not seeing uh, uh, May. And I got mad respect for Russ. Russ is one of my favorite players, but he went and joined the team with a guy who has single-handedly ruined the NBA. How's he ruining the NBA? With this bullshit-ass 
whatever you want to call whatever that was. That wasn't You're team wild. basketball. You're wild. I like team basketball. It was team basketball. I like team it basketball. It was team basketball. It wasn't team basketball. It was team basketball. I like team basketball. It was team basketball. James Harden was playing uh, uh, one on four. You feel the exact same way I felt about Steph Curry 2015-2016. Steph that Curry was never played one on four. He never played one on four. That was the worst expedition out of the look. He, he, look. The, that was the worst expedition of basketball I've ever seen in my life. No, it was not the yes, worst it was. exposition it was of basketball. You're it was a liar. bullshit. Pulling up You're 30 feet every goddamn time. You're fucking liar. bullshit. You're it's pussy ball. Stop it. Pussy ball. And so it's, That's what I call it. Pussy so it's ball. hard to stand out there and taking, and taking fouls every time. I'd rather yeah, yeah, I, his love arms. I love it. I love oh, it. I love it. Oh. No assisted buckets. You do something dirty to that man. Mm -hmm. Do something dirty to that man. Steph had a bunch of unassisted buckets. No, he didn't. What you talking about? You just said he was walking up court and shooting from 30. Coming off screens. Coming off screens. Coming off screens. Yeah. Hater. Coming off screens. You're a hater. Coming off screens. You're Trash. A hater. Trash. You're a hater. Nah, I really didn't. I really did You're not. Nah, I really did not enjoy that with watching. Like before Kevin Durant came to the Warriors, I fucking hated watching Warriors basketball. Like literally hated it. You're a hater. Hated it. You're a hater. Hated it. But don't worry. You gonna you gonna get you gonna learn to love it this year. Steph said he going for his third MVP. Okay. So he I'm already to. ready. He gonna it don't matter. To go for That's it. what he should do. Third best player in the, go the third best player in the NBA should always be in contention. You don't need to go the for third it. best player in the NBA should always be in contention. You don't need to go MVP. for it. That's what we do. You don't need to go for it. That's what we after. If they want to win, he gonna we need to go MVPs for it. We after the championships. If they want to win, he gonna need to go. You say for that it. like they ain't never wanted to win. He gonna need to go for nah, it. Nah, stop it. You're wilding. He gonna need to your go hate, for it. Your hate is blinding. If they want to win, he gonna need to go for Good. it. You say that like that's an insult. I've never heard anybody say if the team if the if the team that's been to the championship want to win. The best player on the team and gotta look, do what he didn't did before and win an MVP. And look, duh. And look, Draymond Green gonna have to be the defense player of the uh, year too. Nah, no he, he gonna not. have to be. Nah, he gonna have to be. He just gotta be top five all defense. If he's top five, if he actually if he's top ten all defense, he'll be fine. They'll be fine. He was top ten all defense last year. They was fine. They'll be fine. They had a but he can't fall off. Last year. He can't fall off, and I think he's gonna fall off. Team last year. He can't fall off, and I think he's gonna fall then off because they're gonna pick good. on that man. Then they it's gonna not game good. plan to pick on that man. Then it, it's and not you good. You telling me that man is one of the greatest defenders ever? The greatest defender ever? We gonna see what that man then made. If of. he fall off, it's not good. Nah, fam. Is he? It, yeah, nah. Yeah, it's not good if he fall off. Of it's course, it's not. We gonna be all right. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about God, it. He Yo, that. shout out to the homie Iron Grand Vlog. He donated. He said KD is definitely a beta. Yes, he is a beta. Be shout out to you, Iron Grand Vlogs. We appreciate that, bro. Y'all be going too crazy on KD. I don't not, like how y'all. It's nothing disrespectful. I don't like how people be talking about KD. It's nothing disrespectful. I don't like how people be talking. It's nothing about disrespectful. KD. The man himself know he a beta. I don't like how people be. The talking man about himself KD. said he don't want to be the leader. I don't like how people. He be said he don't want to be the leader. He like said he don't want to be the leader. KD. When you don't want to be the leader, what you want to do? You want to be the leader on the court. Well, if you don't want to be a leader, then what you want to do? You want to be the leader on the court. If you don't know, he don't. He want to lead by example. No, he know he don't. He no, he don't. No, he don't. No, he lead don't. by example on the court. No, he don't. If I go out there and put up 50, what I got to say to you in the locker room? Huh? That don't lead by example That don't make you the leader. You want to lead by example on the court. Because when offseason come, you go run and tuck tail and go run and play with Cook. As he should. Exactly. The better point guard. No, he's not. KD clearly <laughs> think he better because he went to go play with the man. So KD clearly think he better. I don't think that got nothing to do with better. Cause uh -huh. that's, no, it's not. Cause this, uh -huh. Then nah, why I go over there? Because you was the main one. Why I go over there? You was the main one arguing. You was the main one arguing. So I'm finna beat you with your own argument. Cause you was the main one arguing when KD went to go and play with the Warriors. That it wasn't about Russ. Or it wasn't about it wasn't about Russ. It was about the offense and what he wanted for the offense. So you so don't get out of here. KD specifically said, I want to go play in a different offense. I don't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. But like Steph Curry said, go play in a different offense. But we about win the championships over here. Ain't gonna win no more. He, how many rings Kevin Durant getting without Steph one. Curry? None. One. None. One. You're lying. He getting the one. So he gonna run through Giannis. Yep. He gonna run through Joel and B. Yep. You're a liar. Giannis a liar. and B gonna take each other out. You're a liar. And you gonna have to beat one of them. No. You you also forgot about the Celtics. Yeah, be right. Forgot about the Pacers. Yeah, be right. Forgot about the Pistons. Yeah, be right. Forgot about the Bulls. Yeah, be right. Cause we coming. Come on. See red. Let we coming. See red. Let's go. We coming. You've been on one for the past two weeks. Bro. I'm not on one. You've been on drugs. I'm, I'm, the past I'm rooted two for my team. You've been on you, drugs. The past you don't know two how weeks. it feel to have a team. You've been on drugs. You don't the past know how it feel weeks. to have a team. You've been your on team drugs was the Cavs, the and they ain't your team no more. I ain't heard you mention them in six months. I have mentioned them in six months. I ain't heard you mention the Cleveland Cavaliers in six months unless we was doing the team reviews. You, know what, what you ain't mentioned the man's in six months. What I'm exactly? What are, exactly? Like I told you. Real fans of the teams, are they teams? We ride or die for our teams. I ride or die for Harden. We ride or die for our teams. I ride or die for Harden and Kyrie. You gonna be like all them Rockets fans in our mentions, crying. I ride crying and whining. He, he is that good, what you mean? What I ride or die for Harden and Kyrie. Clay better. No, he not. And you wanna know how I know Clay better? 
Because I ain't even get that many objections. Only objections I got to saying Clay was better was from Rockets fans. Because people, that's how I know Clay because, better. Because that's people, how I know Clay better. That's how, Clay how I know Clay better. That's how I know Harden, That's how I know Clay is better than Harden. No, he because not. ain't nobody been talking to me negatively about that, including the homies who be on my ass. If I say anything about Scottie Pippen, they be on my ass. I said Clay better than Harden. I ain't heard a peep because none of the homies like Harden. Exactly. I'm here. I'm here alone. You don't count. I'm here alone. You don't count. I'm Yo, here alone. Damn. All right. We got a hell. We got a hell of donation. Shout out to the homie um, Molly boy. Uh, Molly, he said he's he, a wild boy. That man said the words about to fall off like bad dope. <laughs> like bad dope. Yo, that <laughs> like bad dope. <laughs> like bad dope. Yo, that's hilarious. That man said they about to fall off like bad, bad dope. Bad dope. Hey, Molly boy, I give you credit. That's funny. Bad dope. <laughs> um, somebody just donated some euros. His name is FL Six V I O. He said, "What's up from Ireland?" Shout out to you, bro. He said, "What the what the Nuggets gonna do? Beat the Rockets in the first round or the second round? Nuggets I, would be a good. Uh, Nuggets would be beat good, the Rockets in the first or the second round. Nuggets would be a good team, but I also think that the league has. Um, I think you said this. I I I think the league will adjust to Jokic a little bit, and it won't be. It'll 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 be harder to repeat what he did this season. I don't think it will, because because the things that he do are not. Uh, put it this way." I was watching a, a, a shout to Banks No Rest. He sent us a clip on our um, Hoops and Brews Instagram of Scotty talking about like the lack of hand checking. But when he talked about the lack of hand checking, he said for you know, you know for guards it makes it hard. He said for guys like Steph Curry, his thing would just be to play them ninety four feet and try to make them tired. Yeah. Because like he said, he said I'm, I would do the same thing with Steph God, that I would damn. do. With, he said I would do the same thing with Steph that I would do with Matt. I mean that I did with Magic, Magic yeah, and that was play him ninety four feet. feet and do my best to try to make him tired so that on offense he can't do as much as he can do yeah. to try to make him tired. He was like, but with the big guys, there ain't really nothing you can do with the big guys. They always down there. They always have their role down there. Hand checking didn't really change things for them. It changed it for the God, perimeter players. Yeah, and and he, even Scotty said, and I told you this, he wouldn't be able to guard these guys. He even talked about how once they changed hand checking, it was never the same for him. He's like, because all the guys was faster, slower. And they was better than they had I mean, been. Scotty was also like. I mean, and I mean, no, he did thirty four. He, he did, he did like, say that he was getting older, was getting but no, older. they still won three. They still won three rings after the hand checking rules was changed. I don't want to hear that. Yeah, but he had back issues in. They still won three rings, but he had back they issues. They still won three rings. But he was still to all defense and yeah, all look, and all NBA. Yeah, every look, one of them listen, damn years. Those last two like Bulls rings aren't prime Scotty to me. I told you, I think prime Scotty Pippen is like ninety two to like ninety six. Everything before and after is like. No, he was good, but he wasn't in his prime no more. But I say all that to say, Jokic won't be affected for the simple fact of you can't put a smaller player on him, and you can't put a bigger player on him. If you put a bigger player on him, he's got moves, he's crafty with the ball, he's one of the best passers in the NBA, even though he's seven feet tall, and he's crafty with the basketball. He can shoot from the mid-range, he can hit a three. He don't have a ton of post moves, but he's decent in the post. He got great footwork. I don't think you can really stop him. I think the only, I think the thing that will help him if they do start the game plan for him more, even double him more, that just means that Jamal Murray got to go out and earn his contract. Gary Harris got to go out and earn his contract. Jeremy Grant got to go out and earn his contract. Paul Mil- Paul Millsap got to go out and earn his I contract. Trade Millsap. Okay. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. got to go earn his contract. All those guys that are peripheral guys got to go earn their contract. Even Shaq, even Hakeem, even Kareem, even Wilt. Even Bill Russell, all of those guys needed the guys around them that was great in order for them to win. No big man other than Dirk the Whiskey has ever won it on his own. And even Dirk still had good perimeter players on that team, even though they weren't in their prime. Jason Terry wasn't in his prime. Jason Kidd wasn't in his prime. Sean Marion wasn't in his prime. Tyson Chandler was in his prime for what for what that era was. But but Tyson Chandler is a front court player. Dirk is the only big man the, or the only guy over seven feet you've seen single-handedly go out and win a championship being the guy. I don't even think Dirk played with another 20-point-per-game score when they won a championship or when they went to the finals in 2000 and, what was it, six? No, nah, he probably didn't. They yeah, he didn't. So, so, like, so, so if you're a big man, you need the players around you. So I think that they'll be all right. I'm not worried about the Nuggets. I think that the Nuggets' biggest thing is that they just need somebody to do – to do what KD does. And that's when things break down, you just need somebody that's good in ISO that can get you some shots in the mid-range. And that's Michael the only thing that the Warriors, I think, will be missing. But also, the reason why I like D'Lo for this team is because you have to account for, if not double team Steph Curry, which means that D'Lo is going to be getting a lot of wide open buckets that will usually go to Clay. I don't think D'Lo going to be splashing threes like Clay, 
But D'Lo is a guy that ain't afraid to take a step in and take a mid-range jumper. And sometimes you need that. D'Lo also ain't afraid to take it to the rack. Clay ain't a take it to they the rack type of guy. D-Lo. So I think I don't think they're gonna trade. They D-Lo. might, might. And I, I, I don't think they're gonna I trade. I think D-Lo. it. I think it depends on how much, if at all, Clay's defense has fallen off off of the ACL. Yeah, but you're talking about two years from now. You're not talking about this year. No, they're not gonna trade him this year. Yeah, but I think so that like next summer, if you like coming, you look at it like, yo, like Clay ain't the defender that he used to be. Now you got to go and get defense. Yeah. So shout out to you, FL. Uh, but I, I do think the Nuggets this year. I wouldn't be surprised if they won 50-plus games uh, again. I wouldn't be surprised if they had the number one or the number two seed in the NBA again. Um, and I expect an MVP caliber year from Jokic, but I just think it depends on everybody around him. Moving on, Oliver donated. He said, KD will play three elite point guards and only win with one. Yes, KD will wind up playing with three elite point guards and only win it with one. I agree. I don't think the man will ever win a championship because for him to win a championship – on whatever team he's on, he has to be the guy. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he does. No, he so you saying he won the guy with Steph Curry? You're lying. Yes, he does. For yeah, him to win a championship, he was better he than him. I, huh? I don't. Yeah, yeah, but he was better than him. I don't know if off the Achilles he's going to be better than. He's Kyrie. He's going to be better than Kyrie. I don't think he will be. As an all-around basketball player, he's going to be. I don't better think than he Kyrie. will be. Yes, he will. Not and, off the Achilles. And, you're I don't not, think and Kyrie's not going to win a championship as the best player, so he's never going to win a championship. I think he can. Kyrie will never win a championship as the best player on the team. How? I think get better. Get better. How? When you can just be simply double him and there's nothing you can do. What do you mean double? Pass the ball. He's the Bucks good. double, sent doubles and triple teams at Kyrie and he did not know what yes, to do with but, it. Yes, but look, if you go back and look at that series, look at what everybody shot. Tatum was shooting horribly. Brown was shooting horribly. Smart was shooting horribly. Smart didn't even play for the first two games, I think. Like, bro, Kyrie is top, to me, one of the best passers in the NBA. Come on, man. Here's why. For one, Come on, man. For, hold on, look. For one... Kyrie still has two of the best passes I've seen all year. One of the passes was either it was the Rockets when they played the Rockets. Um, it was either on Christmas or after Christmas, like a couple of days after Christmas. I was sitting at my dad's. So I remember like like, um, like it was yesterday. I think it was like six minutes left in the third quarter. The angle that Kyrie threw this bounce pass to straight in the corner to Marcus Morris was fucking insane. Also, there's a pass in Game Five. Um, to Jalen Brown when Kyrie had like one of his assists. When they lost? Yeah, when they lost. Okay. But it's still a great pass. Okay. He had two of the Go best passes. He's had two of the best passes I've seen all season. But I think what helps Kyrie out when it comes to passing the basketball is that he dribbles so well. He dribbles so well with both hands that he can like fit the ball into places that, that like a lot of players can't because he's so um, ambidextrous. They gonna double that man. He gonna turn into Jordan Cannon. He gonna pass the ball. They gonna double that man. He gonna turn into Jordan Cannon. Pass the ball. They gonna double Kyrie. He gonna pass they the gonna ball. triple that man. Number one, he gotta make it to the finals first. He's not gonna make it to the finals against the 76ers, who have four All Stars on their team, or at least four former All Stars. You're not gonna make it against the Bucks, who have three All Stars, former All Stars. Yes, you can. No, you're not. Yes, no, you you're can. not. We saw what he did last year versus the Bucks. He has a better DeAndre team. DeAndre Jordan doesn't dynamically shift anything. He got a better team. He does. How does he shift the game plan for what the Bucks did last year versus the Celtics with Kyrie? He doesn't because he has to go out there and he has to guard Brooke Lopez. He can't stand out there and guard Brooke Lopez. And when Brooke Lopez ain't in the game, we counter on Robin Lopez. They're not going to put but, – but listen, though. They're not going to put him – they're not going to run DJ on, on Brooke Lopez. They're probably going to send Tony and Prince out there. That is the – what I'm – you're not listening so, to what I'm telling you. So he's going to be in the hole. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Then you're food. Your food. Your food. I think that he's. Your food. I think that Kyrie is on a team that fits better. Um, I don't know if Tatum is better than um, Levert. Um, I don't know if Jalen Brown is better than Dinwiddie. You're, you're a liar. Stop I don't. It. I really don't know. Stop it. Like my thing is not about Kyrie. I know what Kyrie gonna do. Kyrie gonna do what Kyrie gonna do. Kyrie gonna be the All Star guard, MVP candidate yeah, that Kyrie is gonna be. Round of the my playoffs. thing. My thing is everybody else. What is everybody else going to do? Is LeVert going to get better? Is Dinwiddie going to get better? Is Allen going to get better? If all those guys get better, they'll be fine. Is Torrey and Prince going to get better? Torrey and You're Prince. You're expecting a lot. And although Torrey and Prince is a young player, what are they, 25, 24, nah, 25? he's younger than that probably. He's probably he, like, like 23. 23. Yeah. Come on, man. I don't even think he's off his rookie deal yet. We're talking about championships. I know what we're talking they're about. Not, they're not a championship contender. Not right now, but in two years they can be. Then you we have talked. You have to talk to me in two years. Not right now. Because no. also the other thing about Kyrie, he got to stay healthy for a whole he season. Ask the guy. My thing. But again, you talked to me about Steph Curry getting injured. Kyrie is one. Oh, I got knee time. I mean, I got knee tendonitis away from being shut down for the year because they don't want to risk him when they know they got Kyrie. I mean, I'm sorry when they know they got KD coming back. Of course, of course, Kyrie has to stay healthy. But I think that one. Of I ain't worried. That, but I think that one of the things that will help him stay healthy is that you have a guy like Levert. Like for the most part, Kyrie has been. 
I mean, LeBron was an isolation player, but still LeBron is a pass-first guy. So, so for the most part of it, I mean, Tatum was an isolation player, but Tatum isn't at that level yet, at least. Um, I, I think for the first time, you have another backcourt player to play with Kyrie okay. and take pressure off of Kyrie. Yeah. Kyrie's never had the other backcourt play. That's J.R. Smith. The way he was used in Cleveland is not like the way he was used as a six man in in, yeah. in, um, in um, New York. In in Boston, you have Marcus Smart, more of a defensive minded player. You're not really going to run many plays on on offense for Marcus Smart. Mm -hmm. I think this is the first time he's paired up with another backcourt player, which I think will take a lot of pressure off of Kyrie. I'm not upset at that. For everybody that else that donated in the chat room, I'm going to get to you. It's a lot of y'all that have donated this episode, so we're going to get to every single question and we're going to answer them all question by question. So. Relax. Trust me, we got you. Moving on to the next uh, uh, donation. Shout out to the homie Iron Brand Vlogs. Uh, the second biggest donation of this episode. The first one was from uh, from Iron Brand Vlogs. He said, Kyrie is a system killer. Golden State Warriors is the ultimate system. KD won't win another ring. Iron Grand Vlogs. I agree with you. Kyrie is a system player. But Kyrie is a system player that, that depends on another uh, first option. Kyrie, is, it, Kyrie proved to me when he was a Celtic that he was only as good as his first option was and his first option when he was a Celtic was him I don't think Kyrie gonna be what everybody think Kyrie is gonna be on his own team I think we gonna I think we gonna see some great numbers I think Kyrie might you know next year average like 23 how can you say Kyrie, but, 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 but see how can you say Kyrie is a system killer when you've seen him go to the finals three straight times in a system how is he a system killer because did you not just hear what I just said and also, hold on. Even before he got hurt the first year, what the weren't weren't, weren't the Celtics leading the East? Were they the best team in the East? Yeah, but come what on. what you mean? But what do you mean? What do you mean? But what do you it's, mean? There's but? there there is no but. There is a but. You were the like you there gee, is a but. You've seen Kyrie be on when 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 healthy because he was healthy. Mm -hmm. You've seen Kyrie as the head lead a team to the first seed. He got hurt in March. It wasn't like he got hurt in. Fucking January. It was March. It was like it was still, twenty games. It was, it was still a whole month of basketball. A month of basketball. Okay, so up what? until then, they had been the best team in the East. Yeah, but but also the reason why up until then was because all of those other guys that were on that team that year were young as hell. They were all young as hell. They were all in New York. They're young as hell. No, they they not as young as they all was when they was in Boston. They still young. They're not as young. No, you you missing the point. I understand what you're the saying. The point is, all of those guys on Boston was mad young. So, of course, you could tell them whatever you want to tell them when they mad young. But then they get to the Western Conference Finals when Eastern you out. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, finals. the Eastern Conference Finals when you out. They gain that experience. Exactly they thinking, why I think they that. They thinking you you not coming back to your team. You coming back to the team. Exactly so, why I think that so last year. So, therefore, you got to exactly, play the system. Exactly why I think last year in Boston was an unprecedented situation in NBA history. You've never seen that before. Mm, it was not an Yes, it, like, te you see, you te no, 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 no. Literally, think back. You've been watching basketball 29 years. Yes. Think back and tell me a time when you've seen that. Seen what? Two superstars. The, the guys you pay to be the superstar get hurt. Don't play. The other people who there and do play take a team yeah, one game away to from the finals. To your same point, they played as a team for sixty games before he got hurt. But so listen, the team and the system was already but listen, going. But listen, so you keep, but listen, and no, also look at who the Celtics played. This, it wasn't like the Celtics was playing a barn burner of talent. If the Celtics was in the East, they wouldn't have made it out of the first round. So what? But listen, it's an unprecedented situation in NBA history. For one, yeah. Hayward plays six minutes. Literally six minutes. No, so you I, don't. I saw it. So, I so, so 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 at work actually. So Shout out to full screen. So so you said in like, a meeting. <laughs> I was dead as in a meeting with my iPhone at work at when I was working at full screen, and the man and I'm like, I'm I, I look up to my other homie John. I'm like, yo John, Gordon Hayward just tore his foot off his leg. He like what? I'm like, look, bro. He like, oh shit. So yes, I was watching. So like, bro. So you don't even know how the system works because one of the main guys that you paid to be a big clog in the system plays six minutes. Mm. Literally, plays six minutes, die. Mm. You bring him back and you bring in Kyrie back, and it's like, okay, go work with these guys who, by the way, were one game away from the East Conference Finals. So why you can't do that? It's hard, G. Eh, like, like, come on, like, 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 bro. People don't understand. I'll be right back. People don't sometimes like the one thing that I, that I like and enjoy about covering you know sports in general. I always try to like bring the the more human side of basketball to everybody else. Like it's not just sports. You got to think like these are coworkers. It's very hard to go to work when you don't like your coworkers, especially when he's selfish. I don't think he was selfish. Yes, he but was. again, I think that everybody in the situation is kind of selfish. Rozier, he was probably selfish. Motherfucker, I'm trying to get paid. And also, I, and also, I don't think people realize that, like, I don't 
for for young players, I don't always think winning is number one. I don't think you're at the level yet where you just want to win. I think when you come into the league, you want to prove yourself. You want to get the contract. You want to do things like that. And then as you progress, you 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 know hit certain milestones. You get to a certain place in your Sorry, career. Sorry, so dark, everybody. I forgot to put the light up. Today. You get to a certain place in your in your um career, and then winning becomes like the main thing because I've done everything else. But first, you want to prove yourself. You want to get paid. You want to financially secure your family. Like these are all real things. And if Kyrie coming back in, that takes away from me financially securing my family. Especially when I think that I'm probably going to get a max. If you're looking at how, how last season ended. Terry Rozier was never going to get a max. G. Though. Yeah, G. He the, was never going to. We me, don't know that. To me, we don't as know a that. basketball analyst. We don't know that, though. Terry Rozier was never getting we a max. We don't know that. We do know no, that. No, we don't. He was never that good. But listen. He was never that good. I fully agree with you. But. What I'm saying is this, if Kyrie isn't there, right, the man comes back, puts up 18 and 7, some team realistically may overpay him to get him off the Celtics and think that, okay, I get I get this guy in my system, he could go to 21 points. Best case scenario. Otto Porter got a max. Yes, but Otto Porter was worth that max. Otto Porter's a two-way player who can, who can hit a spot up corner three, doesn't command the ball, and he can also give you 15 without commanding the ball. That is the difference. Otto Porter, for NBA terms, I didn't agree with him getting the max. But I understood why he got the max. Yeah. He's a two-way player. Same Terry Rozier is not a two-way player. Yes, he is. Yes, no, he is. Not. Yes, he is. Yes, stop he is. that, man. Yes, he is. Yes, Scary, he is. stop that. Yes, stop he that. is. Stop that. Scary Will, Terry look, is not a we'll two-way never, player. Listen, we'll, we'll never know because it didn't happen and everything played out the way it played out. But, again, I think that he had a realistic chance to get a max if – I, I, I think I, I think that was a realistic chance. If not a max, close to a max. We can agree to disagree on that one. But I think, sh- sh- go ahead. Go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. We had we had we had hella donations. Nah, nah. I'm so just like, this next donation is uh, Luke Jones. He said Harden use only his right hand is greater than Clay. Great slander. Elite slander. I love it. Banks no rest set out. I'm gonna get up with y'all at this game on Sunday. Thank you for donating, Banks. Thank you for donating, Luke Johnson. Uh, I am Grant Vlogs came back again and he oh, donated again. again. Shout out to you. He said Kyrie is a great highlight, but that's about it. What, what what's your response to that Kyrie? That shit's stupid, G. Like it's like that. Like all of that is ignorance to me. Like you've seen Kyrie play on big stages. You've seen Kyrie win. No matter if he was the main guy, or whatever, he still contributed to winning. Stop acting like Kyrie has not contributed to winning. That's I don't think anybody said that he even hasn't last contributed year. To, I don't Look, think it's about contributing to winning. But, I think it's about. But when you demean him as to just being a highlight, that's like you talk about the man like he Devin Booker. Even last year. No, you're not. He's listen, definitely not Devin Booker. But listen, nobody's Devin Booker. Listen, nobody's Devin Booker. Listen, Devin listen Booker. even last year, no matter what you want to say about the Boston Celtics, they still won basically. They still won over 50% of their games and made the playoffs. Now, it was disappointing because we all think they're going to have a 60-win season. They still won 49 games. So he's contributed to winning since he was 24 years old. So to demean him as just a highlight is disrespectful. He's not just a highlight. I do disagree with that. He's not just a highlight, but as I said, he's not the main guy. I think you'll see this year. He is year. the secondary guy, and there's nothing wrong with being the secondary guy. I think you'll see this year. He's it, literally he is the he is the elite point guard version of of what everybody thinks Clay Thompson is at shooting guard. Same thing, I except and, and 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 I don't think Kyrie's as much of a two way player as Clay, but he's but he but he is somewhat of a two way player. I, I like Kyrie. I don't have anything against Kyrie. It's just when you start telling me that the man is better than than you know you know than the guy that I didn't see time after time year after year lead his team to the finals, be in the finals, perform in the playoffs, have a top ten playoff point per game average, top ten finals point per game average. You can't sit up here and tell me, you can't sit up here and tell I me that this guy ain't valuable. You can't tell me Kyrie's better when I haven't seen I Kyrie do it. I can not tell you. And you're wrong. You've seen him. And you're wrong. You've seen him in the finals match up against and Steph Curry and be better. And you're wrong. You've seen him in the finals match up against Steph Curry and be better on multiple occasions. He was not better than him on multiple occasions. Yes, he was. He was not. Twenty seven. The only year he was better than better. him. Look, the wait, only wait. year he was better before than him. Before he Steph. got whoa, 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 whoa. The first finals. But come on. Before man. he got hurt in that game, it was neck and neck. Come on, man. Neck and neck in that game. You before said he got better. hurt. You neck said and better. neck. You said neck and neck. Listen. Also, that game. Wardell in 2016 coming off an of MCL sprain in which he was out for two whole weeks. Okay. In the middle of the playoffs. Fair. That's all I'm going to say. That's okay. If you want to say, like. And Kyrie ain't got a higher finals average than, uh, than Steph Curry, so okay. what are we talking about? Steph Curry been there more times. Oh, and gets I to want, take, and oh, listen. Oh, I wonder and why. Listen, I wonder and listen, why. And listen, and listen. Gets to take more shots. 
for one. Yeah. The offense, like the Warriors' offense. Kyrie, you told me Kyrie was the primary scorer on the on the Cavaliers. So I'm he confused. Was. So I'm he confused. Was. So but what listen, you talking about? Listen, listen, but listen, listen, listen. The Warriors' offense is set around Steph Curry scoring the ball. You telling me that? Fuck! I really want the kids. These goddamn mosquitoes in here. Damn, it was right in front of my face. But you telling me that Kyrie was the number one option for the class? Yeah, but listen. Also, yeah, but listen. How does that make sense? Listen, but listen, 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 listen. Because LeBron is still going to take his amount of shots. Also, Jr. has to get shots. They had other people who had to shoot the ball. Also, the first finals he was in, he gets hurt. We don't know what he what his average would be if he don't get hurt in that finals. We really don't know. And then he wanted to get traded the uh, next year. He's been to three finals. Three straight finals. So all I'm saying is tell a man to prove it. Uh, shout out to uh, Iron Grand Vlogs. He donated again, bro. We appreciate you. Thank you for the donations. He just wants to donate. Shout out to everybody that's donated. He said he not Devin Booker, but he can't get the job done when it matters. No slant. What do you mean? I He's just, gotten the job I done when it matters. I disagree with that. He's gotten the job no, like, done. That doesn't let, make let sense. Me, let me do it. I disagree with that because we saw what he did in that finals when they came back. That forever to me makes him bulletproof in terms of getting it like, done. What do you mean? If you want to say get it done as the primary option, I understand it because like, I don't believe Kyrie was the main option. He does. I think LeBron was the main option. Every team LeBron is on is the main option except for this Lakers team because they the want to win. Anthony Davis got to be the prime but, option. But, 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 but people don't realize <coughs> LeBron, that's the issue. If LeBron is your main option offensively because of his offensive scoring limitations, mm -hmm. there's only so far you can go. Like, for instance, even like in 2007, if, if you put Michael Jordan on that Cavs team because of how low scoring that series was, they might win. Not because Michael Jordan is exponentially such a better no, basketball player. No, if LeBron was better, they would have won. No, look, if you put 2017 LeBron because he scores the ball better, then yes. But LeBron at that stage was nowhere near the level of a, what a scorer. I don't care what his point per, points per game average was that year as he is in 2017. So if you put a guy like Kobe, you put a guy like – um, Jordan, you put a guy who was just a natural born scorer on that team because of how low scoring that series was, they would have a better chance. But the fact just LeBron isn't a main, LeBron should never be your main option, your main offensive option when it comes to getting a bucket. Now he can be the primary ball handler or whatever, but I don't think I LeBron should be your main option when it, when it, when I it, firmly when it comes to getting a bucket. I firmly disagree with that. I'm sorry. Disagree with it. We can argue about it, but I firmly disagree with that. I've seen LeBron, regardless of how much slander I get a man time and time again, when his teams, including Miami, including Cleveland, when they needed big buckets, he's made hella game winners, hella, you know, hella clutch shots. Now, <coughs> does LeBron always do everything that I think is necessary and required for him to win a championship? No. But I've been the main one saying that I think LeBron needed to be more selfish and be less selfless. I've been that's telling not you him, no. I but the, but the, that's not. But him. again, but but again, but, but 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 again, that's not him. I understand that. that. Like 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 that's not like literally but, like like when but like Kyrie still not. But I'm not bro, taking like anybody when, over. Listen, as the number one. I'm like when bro. like when Glass set up here and was like, Bron is the best possible version of like Scottie Pippen. Yeah, he is. He's the he's like the best Scottie possible wish version. He could be any version of LeBron. James. But listen, he's like. He's like that. The reason why the 93, 94 Bulls, like it was a limit, because that's certain, like, Scotty not a scorer like that. He can score, but he not a scorer yeah, like LeBron that. but LeBron is a way infinitely yes, better scorer than Scotty. Yes, but he's still not a scorer, scorer. It's, it's a, a different level. Say, I'm sorry, it's a different I don't level. agree with that. It's, it's a different level, Once you drop bro. a 30 ball, you, you, it's a different, you can't it's a, argue that you're not a scorer. It's a, bro, it's a 30 like, ball. Like, like but what are you going to do for this 30 ball? Like, Brian can't beat you from the, like, for now he can't. As he's, as, 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 as Brian's career has progressed, as his athleticism has declined, mm -hmm. as he's got, as he's improved upon certain other skills, I think now you've seen moments of LeBron beating teams from the perimeter. Mm -hmm. You've seen it happen. But for a lot of LeBron's career, he's never really beat you from the perimeter. That was never LeBron. Like even in the game when he scored 22 straight points, he didn't beat the Pistons from the perimeter. A lot of that came from the free throw line. Also, he got to the paint a lot. He hit like two, two or three jump shots that were really, really nice shots. Yeah, that Pistons year was before he elevated himself another. He level. went to the finals that year. And that, like I said, that Pistons year. But that's the Braun I'm talking about. I know, but also he's but still, even when he was playing in the finals, Kawhi Leonard went out there. There was nobody out there on that floor that could guard LeBron. James. I mean, yeah, but I mean, but, but look. And, and usually the games were like seventy something to eighty something or eighty something to ninety something. The games was always on this. It wasn't like they got. Dog walked off the floor versus Ooh, the Spurs. Well, yes, they did. No, they did it. The second time? They, yes, they no, did. No, no, not the second time. I'm talking about the first time. You talking about when they, you talking about the Pistons. They, that was the first year. No. I, oh, wait. You what? said you said when he played the Pistons. You was talking about yeah. that. That was the first you year. You talking about 2014? No, no. Because in 2014, they got dog walked. No, you said, no, I'm not talking about the Okay. You, talking, right. you said right. 2007 yeah. when they played the Pistons. Yeah. 
that Spurs team was not equipped to deal with LeBron James. Yes, it was. Nah, I didn't know they were Go weren't. back and watch that series. No, they yes, weren't, bro. Yes, yes. No, yes, no, it was. no, no, no. They made LeBron. They were not LeBron. equipped to deal with LeBron James. The uh, I mean, they weren't e- equipped to deal with LeBron James. The problem was the Cleveland Cavaliers were not equipped to deal with Tony Park. No, the problem no, was Tony. Go back and watch that series. I watched the series. That was the bro. one he won the uh, Finals MVP, I right? Watched the series. Go back and rewatch that series. I watched and tell the series. Me that there was nothing. Gee, he, nobody could LeBron do about Tony was shooting Parker. like shit because he couldn't shoot. And no, and LeBron was, was out there shooting like six. And they were still within six, eight points every game because it would be because because bro, you had two great defensive teams matching up against each other. I just like, don't think LeBron realized the 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 level that he could hit that year. I just don't think LeBron could score that good. <laughs> I just don't think he could score that I'm good. I'm sorry, Bruce. I don't think LeBron and became not came bro, hold LeBron. I don't Bruce like bro. Couldn't hold Kobe. I don't think LeBron became a good or great scorer until Miami. Later on in Miami, I, I can't even the first that. year he wasn't a great scorer. Literally, he said the Wayne Casey made me this way. Literally, they would they would put Jason Kidd and JJ on the man because he couldn't shoot. It's like just don't let the man get to the rim. And when you do get to the rim, and when you do get to the rim, we got Tyson and we got Dirk there. I don't care what you say about Dirk. The man still seven one. If he does this, now he at like ten feet. I'm not upset with that. So that's why you can put those guys on him because he couldn't shoot. It's like yo, beat 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 us from the perimeter, and he couldn't do it. As, as even like even now, there's very little time. There's few times still to still to, to this day the best exhibition. To this the best <laughs> exhibition of offense I've seen, like offense, that I've seen LeBron put forth is that four quarter against the Raptors when he was in fadeaways from every fucking well. I never seen that man do nothing like that. I know nah, you, I, you ain't, you ain't never seen that man look like that. I'm gonna keep, from the it, I'm gonna keep it 100 percent G with you. You ever seen a cat play with a mouse? Okay. No, no. I'm asking you a question. Have you ever seen a cat no. play with a mouse? No. Have you ever seen a cat play with a mouse? It's not that the cat wants to kill the mouse. Usually the cat kills the mouse on accident because it's playing with it like it plays with a toy. So it just roughs the mouse up until the mouse dies and then the cat is looking like, damn, why you ain't moving around no more? That's what LeBron James did with the Toronto Raptors. He single-handedly changed. LeBron, actually, Toronto Raptors need to send LeBron James a thank you package. Because he single-handedly made Masai Ujiri say, you know what, this ain't going to work, fam. Like, we got we to gotta switch some shit up. I'm going to go get Kawhi and send that man DeMar to San Antonio. Raptors fans need to be thanking LeBron James for that one championship y'all got. Man. Him and Kawhi Leonard, you need to retire both their jerseys. You need to retire both. LeBron to. Exactly. LeBron but to. Um, Luke Johnson said, who's a better player, Harden or Steph Curry? You already know Steph Curry. That's what I'm going to say. He's going to say Harden. I'm, uh, I'm not going to go back and forth uh, about better, it. I mean, it's, it's highly debatable. Like, Steph Curry's a better player. If somebody says Steph, I'm not mad at that. If, if like somebody says Harden, I'm not mad at that either. I just think that they... I think Steph is a better shooter. I think Harden is a better scorer. I think Harden is, when it, when it comes to defense, I think Harden is a better defender in certain areas than what Steph is. I think Steph is probably actually, when it comes to guards, a better on-ball defender than what Harden is. But obviously Harden is a better post defender. I've never heard you give Steph Curry credit on defense. I, I will take nah, that. I, I will take that. I have nothing to say. Steph Go ahead. A, continue. Steph, Please, keep talking. Steph, Steph isn't a terrible defender. He just like puts himself in stupid-ass situations on defense. He isn't a terrible defender. Like, people think that you can just give Steph drugs. Like, it's not going to necessarily work out like that. It's just that he just puts himself in horrible situations. Like, against Harden, he's not a bad defender. He'll just fucking pick up the stupidest fouls. Like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? He's not a bad defender. He's just He's not a bad defender. He's just an undisciplined defender. Like, he's not very disciplined. But, he, but he's not bad defensively. Like, Steph is a much better defensive guard than what people give him credit for. Ain't like he's just out there, like, fucking Isaiah Thomas, bro. God damn. <laughs> what? Yo, I, I, Isaiah catches the most slander, bro. Not. Even everybody, when I say who's the biggest sore loser, everybody, Isaiah Thomas, like, God damn, bro. But, gee, but, uh, but Isaiah 5'9. And also, Steph has those moments that, that just look funny. Like I, when he called off for the switch on Fred Van Vliet, it's like that just looks hilarious. I feel him, G. I got to go out there and put up 35. I feel him too. But I got to go out there and drop 35 and they run in a boxing one, G. Yes, I need a breather. I feel him. But it's and I got to go out there and do this shit. <laughs> As I'm fucking catching, 
Kendrick running around screens trying to catch the ball to get three pointers. I feel him. Come I get this feel man. Him, but it's just funny. Dude. Like like that time when John Wall was dribbling the ball and that man said, "He said he can get this motherfucker. I feel him. Get, get this, this man, man off me. Get, get, this get man. me off this man." But I also saw Steph drop fit, put fifty on John Wall head. Though. John Wall had he, forty in that game too. It don't matter. Just wait, 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 wait. He got a fifty ball on his head. But listen though, this is what people don't realize about that game. Yes, Steph Curry had fifty. John Wall also had forty one and ten. Steph on the Curry lowest of keys, ball, John Wall did have forty-one and ten. A fifty ball. I think John Wall like did have threes. forty-one and ten, though. Yeah. That's what people don't remember about that game. Yes, Steph did get that man a fifty ball. John Wall also gave that man forty and ten. I am Graham Vlog said, "My mood, Abdul Rauf would give Kyrie drugs. He would give most everybody people drugs. drugs. Yeah. He would give. You most know how good, drugs. like if, like, like if, like if uh, Rauf played right now, yeah, he'd nah. be fucking crazy. No, nah, I mean, I mean, look, have you have you ever watched him play in the Big Three? Yeah. Like even if you look at his big three highlights, and he's fifty years old, yeah. he's still out there getting giving everybody drugs. Well, at least yeah. he was. Yeah, I think I think I don't I don't think he would be a. I don't know if he would be a top five guard. He'd be but, he would, but he would be a top ten guard. He'd be all star. Man, he'd make an all star team. I don't know if I and I not in, not in today. It's, you still got yeah, guys nah, like CJ. Nah, you, it's a lot of guys ahead he'd of him. Make an all star team. Think he would? If he was in the East, he'd make an all star team. If he was in the East, I'm not upset with that. If, if CJ was in the East, he would make an all star yeah. team. If CJ made, if, if CJ was in the East, he damn near would have a chance to start. He's probably going to be one of the best players to ever make an All Star team. Who CJ McCollum? Yeah. yeah, man. Shout out to CJ though, man. I, I like CJ. But he has a great career in broadcasting. With, um, oh yeah, I like CJ. Um, CJ is honestly my second favorite player on and off the court. He doesn't really bother. He doesn't bother me on the court. He to me more times than Dame has has shown up when He's they needed him. Than Dame. Um, I'm not upset with that. Uh, and you saw it in the playoffs. Like I'm not upset with like that. They kept like that's yeah, what Iggy like, put that man. Iggy put, no, but, but Iggy and Clay put that man but, in a halfway house. But the thing about which, but I got this. This goes back to Terry Scotts. First of all, they should have let CJ initiate the offense. Number one, because he's yeah. a better scorer. Like, but this goes back to why I think isolation basketball is still useful in certain situations. They kept bringing screens up. And I'm like, bro, stop bringing. They're just going to hedge off that. And then Dave still had it in his mind, like, I still got to be in score mode and go 30. I'm like, no, you need to turn it to John Stockton. Yeah, it's not going to happen. the ball. No. Dame Lillard. And CJ got to be the one to go out there and, like, you know what, CJ, I'm going to let you initiate. And then you can run Dame around screens and stuff like that. But when you, but when he handles the ball, he's getting the hack, like, not hacked up court, but, you know, Guarded all the way up court. Then yeah. you run the screen up there. Now we just trapping off the screen and Draymond heads in and pushing the man out. Like you don't even need a screen. Just take that man one on one. But Dame isn't the best one on one player. Like that's why Dame and CJ work. CJ is more of the one on one, hands down, knockout scorer. And Dame is the better shooter um, and a better playmaker. That's why they work, in my humble opinion. I mean, I'm not upset at that. I'm not upset at that notion. I think Dame, Dame, uh, I think Dame is a better all-around player, obviously. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I agree. Clearly, more money, obviously, and and built to be the guy. I just, but but also that's the same reason. If you go back and you watch any of these hoops and brews clips that we didn't have for the past couple of years, whenever we talk about the Blazers, I'm always saying one of them gotta go, and I still believe one of them have to go. I don't. I think that they both occupy the same type of spaces, no, they but don't. they're. I think they do. I think they both mm-hmm. occupy the same t- type of spaces, but they're different players. I think CJ, and is CJ more... should be the guy with the ball in his hands at the end of the games. I agree with that. But because it's Dame Lillard's team, Dame is always the one with the ball in, in, in his hands at the end of the games, which I think is the reason why they wind up losing a lot of those big leads. Because sometimes, like I said, even with KD, you just need – and that's also the reason why KD leaving ain't that big of a deal with, to me because you picked up D'Lo. Because D'Lo, if he ain't nothing else – He's a good isolation player. He's no, also he's six foot five. He's two hundred twenty pounds. You gonna have a tough time guarding that man. He is two twenty. He's not two. I think he's two twenty. He's not two twenty. I think he's two twenty. Two twenty. He's not two twenty. Nah, he ain't two twenty. He might be two ten. He ain't two twenty. Even if he's two ten, still fifteen more pounds heavier than or twenty more pounds heavier than Steph Curry. Steph Curry about a buck ninety. Six three, a buck ninety. Twenty more pounds is is a big difference. No, two more big. inches, twenty more pounds. That's also why Coach was tripping about Curry in the post. I'm like, no, G. I felt. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's like, like nah, we're not putting it. I'm up. with guards posting. I do think because even when I played 2K, like the the, the the system I ran, I had a guard who was six six, yeah, two twenty. So I would just put him in the post, and then eventually they would double me. And then obviously he's one of the best. He was one of the best passers in the league on the game. So I just pass out the post, one pass, somebody open. So I'm with guards posting up. Yeah. I think I don't want to see. I never want to see Steph Curry post. I up. think. 
Kyrie should be using the post. I think Harden should even be using the post. I think Luka should spend a lot of time in the post. I'm with guards posting up in certain situations. With Luka, I don't think that's going to work only for the simple fact that KP is there. Yeah, put his ass. Yeah, KP don't want to be down there anyway. KP want to be out there. Yeah, but I don't. I, Luka, Send that motherfucker. KG, K, KP I don't, don't want to. No I, 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 I feel you, but I think we're about four years premature for Luka. I mean, that's fine. I think, Luka, I think Luka is going to be one of those players like LeBron where he's going to play his game the way he plays it until he loses or they scheme for him enough to where he's like, all right, I got to make some adjustments. Because you can think that the NBA is easier than FIBA play because of the fact that the, that, you know, that the big man is not down there. But that doesn't mean that they can't run schemes for you in the NBA. There's a scheme for everybody in the NBA except for Kevin Durant, literally. And the only scheme that you got for Kevin Durant is Russell Westbrook. That's as, as long as they don't on the that. same court, don't do that. You schemed. Don't do that. You did a great don't job. Do don't do that. No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Don't do that. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. As long as that. literally, the only scheme for Kevin Durant is Russell Westbrook. So I mean, from that perspective, I mean, it is what it is. But all right, we got about ten minutes left. Fans, go ahead, drop some questions in the chat room. We'll answer your chat. If you donate with the super chat, we'll make sure we say your name. Um, somebody said Katie is emo as hell. He's not emo, man. Y'all, only thing I will say about these this people is, be going crazy. It's on not Katie. even that. Y'all, I have no, I have no problem if you want to attack his basketball play, right? And even me, I don't. It's not a personal attack on him when I say that he's a beta. Because when I'm talking about him being a beta, I'm specifically talking about the context of being on the basketball court and as it pertains to being the guy and wanting to be the guy, the face on the basketball court and for the team. I'm not talking about this man's personal life. Y'all be on this man KD too much trying to psychoanalyze this man. Leave the man alone. He's, He's just fine, no, no. Look, I guarantee you, it's probably a couple NBA players that, that that's always in our mentions arguing with us with burner accounts. Probably, but they just ain't ain't uh Got ain't, caught yet. ain't arrogant enough to talk to the third person and then tweet it from their account on accident. I don't even think he did it on accident. I think he did it on purpose. I think he did it on purpose and was like, people ain't going to be that mad. And then when he saw the people was that mad, he was like, oh, shit, like I should have did that. And then you do it again, but this time you get caught. And then it's like, all right, well, yeah, I got to chill. I, I, still, I still feel like him tweeting that from his account was like, yeah, I got burner accounts. But also, like, y'all not finna sit up here and slander me and act like it's my fault that I left when I just wanted to play in a different system. Same thing is with the Warriors. Same reason why I have no problem with what Steph Curry said. We all want to play isolation basketball. Every basketball player does. We all want to dribble the ball. That's really what he's saying. We all would love to just stand out there and dribble the ball if we could. But that ain't how you win championships, and I'm about winning championships. I think it can work, though. Even if KD say all of that shit worked for the first two rounds, don't work in, it don't work in the last two rounds. You got to get through four rounds. You don't think Phil made adjustments? You don't think Pop makes adjustments? All of the great coaches have to make adjustments round by round. That's the reason. That is the very reason why NBA basketball is a chess match. It's not, it's not something where you just roll the ball out and think you can put every great player out there on the floor together and all of a sudden it's going to work. It's chess. You have to utilize your whole team as a unit. Possessions matter. Game times matter. How much you hold the ball matter. Where you put the ball matters. It matters. All of it matters. And that's what separates the good coaches from the bad coaches. So, like you said, well, I'm going to see about Steve Kerr. I still think Steve Kerr is a top five coach of all time. That's now, what regardless of what he, he might have to prove to other people, that's y'all opinion. I ain't going to trip off that. That's y'all opinion. In my opinion, Steve Kerr is a top five coach of all time. When the again. Warriors make the playoffs again and when we make the finals again, then I don't want to hear nothing from nobody. Stop criticizing that man. See, he's one of the greatest basketball mans to ever exist, whether he's in the front office or in the or in the or in the or sitting on the sidelines. Not going there yet for Steve. That's that's gotta, your opinion. You got to do more. That's a, your opinion. The five year run don't put you in top three coaches of all time category. I'm, I'm sorry, not yet. He got to keep going. He got to do more. And now, it, Steve Kerr is a great coach. And I'm stop not saying one Kevin people. Durant cries too much. He's not like, like that. But that be the shit. No, but like, that's what, like what? LeBron cries too. But like, look though, it's like I really want. Can we name this episode LeBron cries too? That's fine. <laughs> but like LeBron cries too. <laughs> either like, that, either that, or or um 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 or Kyrie is Devin Booker. No, Kyrie is not Devin. We're we we're, we're no 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 no. Say like people no people. Y'all talk about Kyrie like he Devin Booker. He's not Devin Booker. That's how people talk about that man. But look, got his shit thwarted. But um, what to say? 
Oh, it was like what KDB on Twitter. Is he the man? Just can't like tweeting. Twitter's kind of fun, bro. It's kind of fun. No, it's not even that. You losers watching this. I love y'all. You still in the comment room chatting, ain't you? Does that make you a loser? Does that make you a crybaby? Does that make you a weirdo? No, it makes you somebody who likes to engage with people. We live in a world where everything we do is on these shits. Anything you want to know about somebody, on Google a motherfucker. Google. I'm Googleable. Shout out to Mr. Fab and shout out to Glasses Malone. I'm Googleable. You want to Google me? Google me. Okay? Yeah. So if you can Google me, I got the right to clap back on you, at you on the internet when you say some bullshit about me. That don't make me no crybaby. Y'all coming all bitches all day long and insult us. When we clap back at y'all, we crybabies? No. Hell no. You gonna get this work. That's what KD's saying. You gonna get this work. You coming in my mentions, you gonna get this work. Yeah. Period. That don't make the man a crybaby. Y'all gotta stop, man. I think y'all be going a little bit too hard with these personal attacks on these guys. Me too. And the one thing I will say is like... Um, I was watching actually the episode on the, uh, of the shop without LeBron, um, where it's just like Kevin Hart, Lil Nas X, Kevin Love, um, CJ McCollum. No, nah, no, nah, he wasn't on there. He was probably in some on some trip or shooting, whatever. They do they do like two different versions. They do one version called the shop where LeBron is on it, and then another version called the shop uninterrupted where LeBron is not on it and it's other people on it. Sometimes LeBron will be in there though, but it's just. I think they just do that so that way they can keep the show going without always having to depend on LeBron. But Kevin Love was talking a lot about how like his anxiety um, um, was, you know, at, you know, once he got traded to Cleveland, his anxiety issue started to like really ramp up. And he's like, yeah, because like I went from being like the number one guy to not only having to take one back seat but two back seats. He's like, and I'm not one of those guys that even though guys are like, oh, I don't read the media and all this stuff. He's like. He's like, he's like, even if you don't try to read it, 10% yeah. of it, 10% yeah. of it's going to filter through. He's like, even if I don't read every comment, I still see a lot of it. I see the chatter. I see what most people are saying. I know what they're saying. So, like, yeah, it gets hard to ignore. He's like, in my first year in Cleveland, I didn't even leave my apartment. He literally said for the whole first year I was in Cleveland, I didn't even walk outside. I didn't even go nowhere. Crazy. He was like, I he was like, it was just a, such a different change for me to have to go from being a number one guy to having to take two back seats to Kyrie yeah. and Bron, yeah. and then, like, having to deal with the fans – talking about me in this manner like yeah it bothers me and the thing Charlemagne said during the thing he was like you know like I used to say a lot of wild shit about these guys until about you know people or whatever until like I started just being around these guys more and realized that, oh like y'all just normal people y'all just happen to be famous yeah. so all of these guys are normal people they just happen to be famous and that's something that y'all don't really understand and comprehend just cause these guys got 200 million dollars don't mean when they open up their Twitter account, their Twitter feed look different than yours. It look the same bro. fucking way. And, uh, and the difference is, on your Twitter feed, you following who you want to see. Everybody just sending them messages. Everybody. The man, um, um, AB, the one who played for the Bucks, when Antonio Brown called his case, the AB who played for the Bucks, he can dibs, I hope you die, you're a rapist, all this kind of crazy shit. Wow. Like. You can't escape it. So if you call this man a crybaby for defending himself, there's something wrong with you. Y'all just don't understand because y'all live in regular lives and y'all don't have to be in front of the limelight or have to deal with people saying bad shit about y'all all the time. It's not that KD's weak. He is a beta, but only on the basketball court. Y'all got to stop disrespecting that man, acting like that man ain't a man. Because at the end of the day, he's a fucking man. Y'all got to stop that. And any man worth his salt not just going to let people talk shit about him. Shout out to Iron Grand Vlogs. He donated again. He said Curry and uh, I'm sorry. He said Rivers and Curry's greatest sports family ever. I'm not upset with that. Manning G. Nah. What? You hmm? said no to the Manning? Yeah. Outside of Peyton and Eli, Archie didn't do shit. Archie was hard. Archie was a habitual loser for a terrible for ass franchise, man. Archie was ain't, Archie. Ain't was, Archie a Hall of Famer? Ar Hell no. You sure Archie's not a Hall of Famer? He shouldn't be. Archie Manning is the most lovable loser in sports history. Archie Manning is, Archie Manning, no, no. And shout out to Cooper, you know, uh, I mean, I know he had his health issues, but no. Nah. Um, no, nah, he's not a Hall of, oh, no, 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 he's not. He's in the College Football Hall of Fame. Yeah. No, I don't, I mean, I will put it this way. I'm not going to say yes only because of the fact that Peyton and Eli have combined for what four or five rings, and they've been yeah. at least what like five, six Super Bowls. Steph by himself is up there with them, but after that, Seth ain't on that level. Austin ain't on that level, and Doc was on a level of an Archie. So no, I'm, I'm, a, I, I'm I appreciate hey, the damn. sentiment, but damn. no. Damn. Huh? 
Dale was hard. Dale, Dale who? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Dale, Dale, Dale. Dale Kerr, my bad. Um, I mean, Dale was hard, but Dale wasn't on the level. Dale wasn't, I'm sorry. Huh? He was, he, he wasn't, I don't. Dale was one of the best Charlotte Hornets ever. One of the greatest shooters. Of, like, this is no, all I'm not, about no, I'm not disrespecting. Yeah, dad is one of the greatest shooters. I'm not ever. disrespecting that. He is. But if we're talking about greatest sports families, we're looking at racking up accomplishments. The Mannings technically do have more accomplishments than the Currys and the Rivers do. That's all I'm saying. That Steph is the is. only one. Steph is the only one from that whole shit that's like, uh, uh, you can't argue with his accomplishments. You can't argue with Dale's accomplishments. You cannot argue with Dale's accomplishments. What you gonna argue? No, no. When you have, this is what I'm saying. When you had an argument about, about Steph Curry, you have an argument where he belongs in terms of the top 25 players to ever play the game. When you have an argument about Peyton, you arguing about top 25 players to ever play the game. When you argue about Eli, you can hate Eli, but I still think he might be a top 100 type football player Shit. to ever play. Nah, you got, I'm sorry. You eighth in yards. You got two Tell Super Bowl rings. You dethroned Tom Brady. I'm not telling lies. Tell lies. Eighth in yards. I think he's, he, he's either sixth or eighth in yards all time. He got hell of touchdowns. Nah, I can't. I'm sorry. Eli's one of those guys that suffer from the same shit that a lot of guys suffer from. If Eli would have retired five years ago, he would be remembered completely different. But because he stayed too long and got his ass beat for the past five years, we, we look at Eli home. completely different. We've been telling Eli to go home for five years. Fair. Giants fans have been telling Eli to go home damn near since after they won the last Super Bowl. Fair. But the Giants like, we got a Manning. He's selling out the, the stadium. We, we can't let the man can't go. Let the man go. Exactly. So, um, but, you know, we're about to need an hour-long mark of this episode. We got 71 people right now watching us. We appreciate all of y'all, man. Shout out to everybody that has donated this episode. Unfortunately, the chat um, didn't, ref uh, me, I'm sorry, refresh, so I can't name everybody. But I know for a fact, um, you know, uh, uh, Banks No Rest donated. I Am Grand Vlogs donated this episode. Who else donated? Um, my guy, um, I think his name was Lewis. He donated. If you donated this, if you donated this episode, drop a message in the chat. I'm going to give you a shout out. Um, somebody said Eli's mid as fuck. Somebody said Eli's a Hall of Famer because of two Super Bowls. You say that like that's, uh, 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 like you just gloss over that. Do you know how hard it is to win a goddamn Holy Super Ghost Bowl? Twice. Huh? I said Eli just caught the Holy Ghost do you, twice. Do you know how hard it is to win a Super it's Bowl? Very hard. As a Bears fan, I've been waiting for my whole life. And for five years before I was even conceived uh, for us to win a, a Super Bowl. And, and also make sure y'all hit that like button as well, man. Any final thoughts for this happy hour? No. All right, no morning brew tomorrow. Uh, my computer is bogged down with renders, so we can't do the morning brew tomorrow, but we will be back with, um, um, like Craig Mack with the flavor in your ear on Friday, um, talking more basketball. Um, actually, we didn't even talk about the game we were watching today on Happy Hour. Today we were watching uh, the the Indiana Pacers versus the LA Lakers. This is game two? Four. Game four it's of the- game when uh, Shaq fouled out and Kobe became Kobe Bryant. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Game four of the NBA Finals versus Indiana. Um, thoughts on that series? <coughs> that series of what people will remember. It's probably their toughest. No, it's not probably. It was their toughest Finals matchup, actually. Not probably. It was. It was, it was definitely their toughest Finals matchup. Um, it's game four when Shaq fouled out and Kobe, I think, scored eight straight points in overtime. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, that's when he did the little calm down thing. So, yeah. Somebody said, did you see what Scotty said about the Rockets? No. He probably said it was predictable offense. And then I think P.J. Tucker said predictable don't mean you can stop it. P.J. Tucker should be the last one to ever comment on offense. <laughs> P.J. Tucker, do me a favor. Keep your comments strictly about defense, player. Because uh, uh, it was – you missed one of them 27 straight threes. Am I wrong? I'm sure he did. Exactly. So I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that, fam. If you was on that team that missed 27 straight threes, don't talk to me about offense, cause y'all, cause the offense was running fine. Y'all wasn't. Um, they said um, Scotty was a second option. It doesn't matter his opinion. I agree with you on that one. Um, somebody said feelings of rain in Brooklyn. He'll be the man, but not better than winning with the Knicks. Who? I don't even know who you're talking about. Um, but yeah, but shout out to all of y'all. We appreciate everybody that's been watching. Make sure when you you know when the episode goes up live and it goes up as the official video. Um, you be sure to like it, drop a comment on it. Also, do us a favor if you have not watched our show, highlight the shade that features all of the ladies. 
Y'all claim y'all like the ladies. We got a show specifically featuring all beautiful ladies. Make sure you go check that out. If you're watching this right now, I want you to go right now to our second YouTube channel. It is called youtube.com slash HNBTWO, HNB2. Go subscribe today. I had a vlog that was up there. I got busy with some real life stuff, been editing like crazy, haven't had a chance to put it up. I actually got like three vlogs that I haven't edited. I'm gonna start back vlogging. I'm gonna try to get those vlogs up next week. So make sure you go subscribe to our second channel. Drop a like on the Highlight the Shade video. Drop a like on this when it goes up. We appreciate everybody that's donated. Shout out to I Am Grand Vlogs. You had the comment of the episode. Uh, your comment of the episode, which will go down below uh, this video. Um, it said, you donated as well. It said Kyrie is a great highlight, but that's about it. Um, what are we naming this episode? Y'all talk about Kyrie like he Devin Booker. All right, I'm cool with that. Y'all, name this episode, y'all talk about Kyrie like he Devin Booker. We'll get up with y'all on Friday night. Make sure you go and you watch the last episode of Hoops and Brews. If you haven't, we had the homie Lee Taylor through. We did our top five list. It was a very, very heated episode all around. One of the best episodes of Hoops and Brews history. We appreciate y'all. We will get up with y'all next time. Peace out, everybody.